What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorpio, and you enjoy my, enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and notify for future readings. This free journal collective like reading for Sign of Scorpio. This can resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any name to your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't have fly, that fly, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general click of reading for sign of Scorpio. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to my channel. You guys are just bomb.com. I uh, appreciate all the new subscribers. If you'd like to donate, it's Hyper Sister 5. The link's in the description box below. I will never ask you for money. If you see those WhatsApp scammers in the comment section, it's not me. They use my profile picture and my YouTube handle. Please uh, feel free to report them because it's not me. It's a scam. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> this could resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts. Um, it's a free general collective reading, so only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Okay, so I received a couple channelings as I was meditating on energy. I heard Scorpio, then um, I got a couple channelings. So it's Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Happy Holidays if you celebrate. The first channeling I received was, um, and I wasn't going to do another one today, but I heard Scorpio, so I felt guided to do it. So just saying, just saying. Okay. So the first one I heard was, uh, one of you guys has x-ray vision and other supernatural gifts. Um, <laughs> damn. <laughs> so you have x-ray vision and other supernatural gifts is what I heard. Um, I heard you do not like to be on the camera. Um, and you have a very public platform. So whoever you are and how that resonates. Um, whoever you are, you're a Scorpio masculine, you're a Scorpio masculine. Okay. You're a Scorpio masculine. I uh, feel you have a Scorpio, any aspects, your charge, you have x-ray vision and other supernatural gifts. So not only do you have X, the gift of x-ray vision, <laughs> I have a lot of supernatural gifts, but not x-ray vision. <laughs> Woo. But, um, you do not like to be on the camera and you have a very public platform. Oh, okay. It's my mom. Um, so yeah. So whoever you are, Scorpio masculine, spirit message is here for a sign of Scorpio. This Scorpio has gotten huge downloads, very huge downloads about a particular film energy recently. He's about to get another one and have a huge wake up call about who this twin, real twin flame really is. Oh my God, I'm pulling you in very strong, sir. I'm pulling you in very strong. So I heard you have gotten huge downloads about a particular film energy recently. So recently, you get downloads. You get downloads. You have supernatural abilities. I mean, hell, you've got x-ray vision, like freaking X-Men. Um, and other supernatural gifts. So I think you get clear audience, clairvoyance, clear sentience, psychic medium abilities. And that's just damn truth. Um, but you receive downloads from the spiritual universe. Um, you don't like being on the camera. But... You have gotten particular downloads about a particular femme energy recently. So whoever that femme energy is and how she resonates in your life. And soon you're about to get a huge wake up call about who your real twin flame really is. So it could be her or somebody else. You plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio. Uh, you have the bee and swan. So for some, you could be dealing with fire sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hand, which your charts. If you are Scorpio. <clears throat> the downloads about your real true flame is about to wake you up in such a huge way. The downloads about your real true flame and true twin is about to wake you up in such a huge way. It's about to make you do something you never thought you would do. It's about to make you do something you never thought you would do. So these downloads about your real twin, whether it's that same energy you've been getting recent downloads about or not, um, is about to wake you up in such a huge way. It's going to make you do something you never thought you would do. Now, whatever that is and how that resonates and applies, Scorpio, um, public platform that doesn't like to be on the camera, that has x-ray vision and other very supernatural abilities. And you get downloads from the spiritual universe. Valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. 
Tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Apple, temptation will test you. X-ray vision. Just saying, just saying. For one, for one of you. It's that Scorpio mask on I'm pulling in very strong. <laughs> now, maybe some of you guys else, maybe some of you other ones have X-ray vision. I'm not sure. <laughs> B. A Scorpio Masculine's OnlyFans is about to go city. Why? It is about to embarrass the hell out of him. He's been trying to keep it very, very, very secret to select people. I was pulling that in yesterday. Okay, so one of you guys has an OnlyFans. You have OnlyFans and um, it's about to go citywide. I did a reading on it. Um, it's about to embarrass the hell out of you. But whoever this is for, there's at least four of you guys in the universe. And that's just the truth. Uh, different walks of life. Um, whoever you are, only you know if you have a secret OnlyFans that you've been trying to keep select to select people. But it's about to blow up, not the way you want it to. It's about to blow up, not the way you want it to. Um, the reading the reading I did yesterday, it, it's about to blow up, but not in a financial way. It's about to just blow up in an informational kind of way. Um, so I think that's the way it's about to blow up, not the way you want it to. They are Scorpio masculine. Um, if, that, if you know you have a secret OnlyFans and you've been keeping it secret strictly for financial reasons, for select people, probably wealthy people to know about, or people that give to it to know about, um, you might want to check that reading out. Just saying, just saying. Gossip about to get out about your OnlyFans. Bees in this aspect is gossip. Gossip train about to get out about your OnlyFans. But it's not because people are about to give to it. It's because they're going to know the information about your OnlyFans. And a Scorpio masculine is about to find out about a Sag Femme pregnant. For one, it is yours. For one, it is not yours. Okay, and a Scorpio masculine is about to find out about a Sag Femme pregnant. Sagittarius Femme pregnant. For one of you guys, it is your child, your baby. For one, it is not your baby. Um, only you know if you've been knocking the boots with the Sag Femme or not, Okay. She can have Sag in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Hey, with Jupiter, Charts, Gossip, B Energy, Gossip, about get out about um, the pregnancy of the Sag Fem, whether it is your child or not your child, okay? And for one, Scorpio, you're about to take your platform down. Tarot reading platform down. There's about to be a lot of gossip about this. A lot of gossip. For one, you know what's going to happen. For one, it's going to shock you. Okay, there's at least two of you. Okay. Online public platform. Okay. There's at least two of you. You have online public platforms. Your tarot card readers. Um, you're about to take your uh, take your platform down. You're about to shut it down. Tar online platform tarot reading channel. Um, well, I'm assuming channel. Your platform. Whatever platform that's on. YouTube, YouTube. Okay, I heard YouTube. It's YouTube, YouTube channel, uh, YouTube platform. There's at least two of you. You can be mass Scorpion Scorpios. Have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts. One, you're expecting the gossip train to come with the B energy, taking it down. For one, you're not, and it's going to shock you. There's going to be a lot of gossip regarding and talk regarding your platform. You taking your platform down. In this aspect, it's not YouTube taking it down. It is you free willingly taking it down.
And for one, you're about to really, really be speaking with a lot of federal agents. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Not a federal agent you con you were in contact with in the past. That was a dirty federal agent. It is a different federal agent, and they're not playing around. It's about to shock you. Holy shit. Whoa, federal agent energy. Okay, so for one of you guys, you were in contact with a federal agent in the past, but I heard they were a dirty federal agent. Um, all of you know if you were in contact with one, it sounds like one singular dirty federal agent in the past or not, Scorpio. Um, whoever this resonates with, I heard they were a dirty federal agent. I feel for some, you probably knew they were. For some, maybe not. But soon, you're about. To, it sounds like you're about to be swarmed with the bee energy with a bunch of federal agents. Heard it's going to shock you. Um, and they are going to want the truth and they're going to get it, whether it's going to be from you or somebody else. Okay, I heard they're going to want the truth, whether it's going to be from you or somebody else. So, swarm of federal agents around you soon. Uh, whoever you are, you you were in contact with one singular, it sounds like one singular federal agent in the past, but I heard they were a dirty federal agent. So, only you know if that resonates with you or not, Scorpio. Um, well, how that resonates, okay? Whoa! For one, you are the federal agent. For one, you are a federal agent. For one, you're a federal agent. Oh, so you might be in the swarm energy. Holy crap, man. Whoa. Swan. A Leo Femmes glow up has already left you shook, and another Leo Femmes glow up is about to leave you shook. Okay, a, a one Leo Femme already in the universe glow up, glow up has left you shook, and another Leo Femmes glow up is about to leave you shook. So, you you plug it in how it resonates, if you mean masculine Femme Scorpio, have Scorps in any aspects of your charts. One Leo Femme has already had a glow up, and it's left you shook, either in a good or bad shooky way. Uh, just saying, just saying. One Leo Femme is about to have a glow up. It's going to leave you shook either in a good or bad shooky way. I don't think shooky's a word, but I just made it one. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So Swan in this energy is the glow up energy of the Leo Femme. She's in the um, Swan energy already with the glow up energy or about to be. Um, I, this reminds me of like the ugly duckling turning into the Swan, like the children's book. The ugly duckling turning into the swan energy. For one, you're about to send a donation soon. For one, you're about to receive a donation soon. For one of you guys, you're about to send a donation soon. For one, you're about to receive a donation soon. So, for one, you're about to send a donation. For one, you're about to receive one. So, um, it could be to a swan. I feel for some of your swan energies, you're about to receive the, a donation. Whatever you do and how that resonates and applies to receive a donation. Uh, for one, you're about to receive a, uh, give a donation. So I think to a swan, swan energy. Uh, however that resonates and applies. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. A particular Scorpio is about to get a huge creative burst for a new song. Very good vibes. Okay, for one of you guys, you're about to get a huge creative burst uh, for a, uh, a new song. Very good vibes. So one of you guys, you're about to get very good vibes um, and some kind of creative spark and burst. And it's about to, sounds like create a series of chain events for you to create a new song. And it's going to be very successful. And it's going to be very successful. 
And for one, you're trying hard to create songs to become famous. There's a reason you have a creative block. Know this. And for one of you guys, you're trying hard. So for one, it sounds like it's about to happen naturally. It's about to happen naturally. Okay, it's confirmation. It's about to happen naturally. For So for one, it doesn't sound like you're looking for success or fame or notoriety or what have you, what have you. It's just about to happen naturally. You're about to get some kind of good vibe energy from person, people, place, or situation. And it's just going to happen naturally to where your creative juices expand and um, just makes it happen. To where, and I heard it's going to be a very successful song um, or songs. I heard song, but it may be two or two plus. How that resonates and applies. It doesn't sound like you're looking for fame, status, or notoriety. It's just going to happen. For another one of you guys, you're trying hard right now in the energetic space. It sounds like to write a song, I heard to become famous or songs to become famous. But I heard you've got to create a block for a reason. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. And through many shocking series of shame events, something is about to happen to someone's drum set and a guitar. Huge damage. You know this is negative karma from the past, and it and it is. And someone's about to steal a sex doll and post it all over the internet. You might fall charges on this. Oh my god! Wow, Scorpio. <laughs> so for one of you guys, you own a drum set and a guitar. Um, confirmation with the sirens, by the way. Filing charges, just saying. So when you own a drum set and a guitar, I heard um, there's about to be damage to the drum set and the guitar. Um, people are not going to cause the damage. And it's about to be bad. Okay, I heard people are not going to be able to cause the damage. Uh, people are not going to cause the damage, and it's going to be bad. So whatever is about to happen, um, you will not be able to sue for this. You will not be able to sue for this. Okay, so how that resonates? Some kind of nat. It sounds like natural something, something, something. It's not going to be people. It's not be man-made by people. Bad damage is about to happen to the guitar or drum set. You might own one. You might own both. How that resonates and applies. But I heard it's not going to be people-made. Sirens are getting stronger. They're coming closer. Just saying. Um, and it's not me people made. So you will not be able to sue. But for one of you guys, you own a sex doll. Now, whether that's a blow up Sally, a real, with the real hair and the real skin and she moves and, and moans and all that shit. I don't know. Only you know if you own a blow up doll and what kind of blow up doll you own. Okay. But one of you guys does. And, um. You know, the one with the lips, like the fish. Just saying, just saying. But how that resonates, uh, <laughs> how that resonates, um, I heard someone's going to steal this. Someone's going to steal your blow-up doll for one of you guys. Only you know if you own a blow-up doll or not. And I heard once they steal the blow-up doll, they're going to probably post it all over the internet. Very childish en energies, they probably will get caught. Okay, I heard very childish energies, they will probably get caught. Yeah, yeah. That's terrible. So they're going to, they haven't done it yet. It sounds like a break and enter. Um, or unless you invite them over, hell, I don't know. Somehow, somebody's going to have access to steal your blow-up doll. Whether you're a man or a woman. Um, and once they steal it, it hasn't happened yet. Once they steal it, I heard they're going to post it all over the internet. And that's, it sounds like that's how they're about to get caught. I heard um, you probably will press charges. And the sirens aren't there anymore. Just saying, just saying. Whoa! So, for the one that's about to naturally just come up with the song, I think you have deep personal peace inside yourself, or you're gaining deep personal peace and strength inside yourself, is what I feel. Um, the other, you plug it in how it resonates. For one, you're a very sexual being and very enlightened being and a very loyal being. Was not looking for anybody. But through many shocking series of chain events, you're about to realize you have met your match. Wow, that's beautiful. 
Okay, so for one of you guys, uh, you're very loyal and um, enlightened and um, sexual being. You sound like me. Just saying, just saying. You're a lo loyal, enlightened, and sexual. Um, but I heard you wasn't looking for anybody else. You wasn't looking for anybody. But through many shocking series of chain events, you're about to find, uh, you're about to realize you met your match. So maybe I'm thinking once you realize you might have met your match. Okay, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. Because they exhibit the same qualities you exhibit there, Scorpio. But I heard you're not looking for anybody. And I don't blame you. Hell, most of us that are enlightened, loyal, and sexual, we are not looking for anybody because we don't want to be taken advantage of. And that's just the damn truth. Uh, we know we have a lot to offer in the universe. And we don't want to be taken advantage of. And I don't blame you. I heard you're not looking for anybody. And yeah, because I'm not looking for anybody too. I'm not a Scorpio. But I'm just saying, I... I exhibit those same qualities and I'm not looking for anybody either, but it's because I don't want to be taken advantage of. So I think that might be where you're coming from. I didn't hear you didn't want to be taken advantage of, but I kind of feel that because if you're not looking for anybody, you're not trying to, you're not codependent. You're not um, trying to energy harvest off anybody, energy snatch off anybody, try to steal somebody's money. You see what I'm saying? It sounds like you're good on your own there, but upcoming, you're about to realize you've met your match. So I think you have peace and strength inside yourself because I think you're good. You're good by yourself. But you about to realize you met your match, I think is about to create a wake-up call in you, if that makes sense. That's what I feel. It's about to create such a huge wake-up call. Probably will do something you never thought you would do. Okay, I heard it's going to create such a huge wake-up call. You'll probably do something you never thought you would do. So whatever that is and how that applies, okay? And a Scorpio masculine is about to learn that his Pisces fam baby mama is about to go to rehab soon through many series of chain of events. And a Scorpio masculine is about to learn his Pisces femme baby mama is about to go to rehab. Sounds like drug re rehabilitation, um, drug or alcohol or what have you, what have you. Um, rehabilitation through many shocking series of chain events. So if that resonates for you, Scorpio masculine, um, you have a Pisces femme baby mama. Um, it sounds like she has a drug habit, uh, drug addiction or alcohol addiction or maybe both. Um, only you know what you're dealing with as far as baby mamas, if you, if that resonates for you. Okay. But if that resonates for you, she's about to go to rehab soon through many shocking series of chain events. So however that resonates, I don't know if she's going to OD or, or what have you, what have you, I don't know. Tankard celebration, fun, enjoyment, or maybe she pops positive on a drug screen or something. A plane flight is about to become very significant for one, for you, for one, for an, a fem energy. A uh, plane flight is about to become very significant, some for you. So it sounds like you're about to take a plane flight uh, for some for a fem energy. So I'm assuming not a Scorpio fem energy. Uh, plane flight energy, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Uh, it sounds like taking a flight. Hell yeah. Just saying, just saying. One, it sounds like you're about to get on a flight for, uh, and that's about to become significant. The person, people, place, or situation for one, somebody else is about to get on a flight. A fem energy. So how that resonates and applies, I think you're going to have a good time. If it's you or the fem energy, maybe you do it together for some. You plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio.
For one, you're about to get offered to play in a local nightclub. For one, you're about to get offered to play in a local nightclub. Music. Music. One, you're about to get offered to play in a local nightclub. Music. So, party scene. Uh, I mean, however that resonates and applies. Um, one, you're about to get offered to play in a local nightclub. Um, you could be a musician and play in a local nightclub and not be a party person. I mean, for some, you could be a party person. For some, maybe not. But um, in this aspect, it's for work. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I think somebody sees your skillet, skillets, your skillets, your skills, talents, and abilities. Um, and they want to offer you a spot at the local nightclub. Um, however, that resonates and applies. So this is in this aspect i feel this is like a bar a nightclub uh you know something like that um maybe you know they drink there what have you what have you you are going to be very nervous but you are good okay i heard you're gonna be very nervous but you are good so whoever you are you're a musician I heard you're uh, going to be very nervous, but um, you are you are good. You're a good music, mu musician, whatever you play, and how that resonates, okay? Um, if you don't play an instrument, you might just sing. How that resonates? Apple, Temptation will test you. For one, you're about to get a hit on with from about 10 party girls. It's going to turn you off in a huge way. For one, you're about to get a hit on from about 10 party girls. It's about to turn you on in a huge way. Oh, okay. Whoa, party girl energy. Uh, come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, yikes, no, nay, nay. I've never been a party girl. I uh, never want to be a party girl. I just want to get my kids back. <laughs> and that's just the truth. Um, and have a successful career in um, my family, me and my kids. But um, that's just me. That's just me. But anyways, okay. So for one of you guys, you're about to get hit on. Uh, party girl energy. Like, come on, Barbie, let's go party energy. Um, some, I heard one of you guys, about 10 party girls are about to hit on you. I feel for some, you're heavy musicians. Um, you either sing or play drums or guitar or both or some other instrument. You're, some of you guys are definitely singers for sure. Um, and you might already visit nightclubs, bars, what have you, what have you, um, or not. Um, how that res resonates to plus. Sirens again. Holy shit. The second time in a reading, this never happened. Whoa. Okay, so... Um, one of you guys about to get hit on, hit on about from about 10 party girls. I heard it's going to turn you off. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It hasn't happened yet. For one, you're about to get hit on with about 10 party girls. I heard it's going to turn you on. So only you know if you like the party girl scene or you don't, because there's one of you Scorpios that don't like the party girl. Come on, Barbie, Barbie, let's go party shit. It turns you off. For one, it turns you on. So only you know if you're turned on by party Barbie girl, party girl shit, or you are, okay? You plug it in, how it resonates. Temptation will test you as the come on, Barbie, let's go party shit. How old are these people? I mean, damn. Oh, my God. I guess I'm just too old. I'm like 39, man. <laughs> There's too much more important things in life than partying all the, all the time. Now, is it fun to go out? somebody you care about or somebody you um, want to see successful like at a nightclub or a bar or what have you what have you do watch them fulfill their dreams singing or playing instruments or uh, what have you what have you yeah I think that's great support you know but going to party and drink it up and get slap ass drunk and be one of the Barbie party party girls that hit on somebody no but that's just me Temptation will test you.
For one, an ex of your past is about to try to sexually hit on you. For one, you're going to fall right into it. For one, you are too, too ascended, too enlightened, and you see straight through her soul. It is going to go badly for her. Holy crap, this is deep. Okay, so for at least two of you Scorpios, masculine or femme, um, your ex or your past is going to try to hit on you. So that could be a, a baby mama, baby daddy, ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, what have you, what have you. There's at least two. One, I heard you're going to fall into it. I heard she's going to be very sexual. Um, um, I feel you mean masculine or femme, but these are femmes about to hit on you. Just saying, just saying. Okay? Because, you know, it's homosexual and heterosexual. Um, but they're both fans about to hit on you. One, you're going to fall into it. So I think you're going to might have sex with her. Or you might like the flirty whatever, whatever. Um, and you're going to fall into her sexual trap. Um, for one. For one, I heard you're not going to fall into it. Because you see how enlightened she is. Uh, you are very ascended and enlightened spiritually. And you basically see who she is on the inside. And I heard it's going to go badly for her. So I think you're going to turn her down. This is exactly what I think. Um, but she's going to try. Um, temptation will test you. Um, for one, she's going to strip right in front of you. Oh my God. I heard for one, she's going to strip right in front of you. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one of you guys, she's going to take it all off right in front of you. Um, whoever, whichever one that is. That might be the one that maybe you fall into her trap. Just saying, just saying. Just because you look good on the outside doesn't mean you're a good person on the inside if anybody needs to hear that. Just saying. But for um, one, you're going to take it all off in front of you. One, you're going to fall into the steely trap of the sex machine, basically. One, you're not. You you are too enlightened. Too, uh, you're too enlightened, too ascended spiritually. You're not, you're not going to fall into the steely trap. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. A fam energy is about to get into a fight with someone in a nightclub soon. They will get arrested. For one, you are heavily connected to her. For one, it's your co-worker. For one, it's an ex, a baby mama. For one, it's an ex. This is about to become very significant to you. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Nightclub energy strong. Um. For one, it's like an ex, 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 boy, boy, uh, ex girlfriend, ex fiance, ex wife, what have you, what have you. Uh, for one, it's just a baby mama. So I don't think y'all were ever serious. How that resonates and applies. But she has a child of yours. But she loves to go to the nightclub. Both of them, apparently, they attend nightclub or about to. Okay? But they're about to get into a fight with someone at a nightclub. I heard they're going to get arrested. It's going to shock the hell out of you. Okay, I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. It's going to shock the hell out of you. They're about to get arrested. For one, they're about to get arrested by somebody they know. Okay, I heard for one, they're about to get arrested by somebody they know. Uh, I guess the other one, they're not. But it's going to shock you in both of these situations, whether they were a serious past situation or just a baby mama past situation. It's going to shock you that basically they... Uh, um. They're about to get arrested. And by one, they're about to get arrested by somebody they know. Um, no bond for one of them. No bond for one. Okay, they're going to have no bond for one. So for one, they're going to have no bond. So I don't know why they're not going to have no bond. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. I was able to bond out uh, the time I got arrested. And I shouldn't have ever been arrested. Um, there is about to be very serious problem. When this person goes into the jail, very serious. It's going to create serious chain of events. That's going to create a no bond. Okay, so whoever, oh my God. So the no bond situation, one, it sounds like they're going to be able to bond out. 
uh, one, they're not, but it sounds like because once they get into the jail, there's going to be some kind of very serious situation that's going to create a no, no bond situation and they won't be able to get out. So however that resonates and applies, I don't know, man, when I, when I got arrested, I shouldn't have ever been arrested. I used to work at the jail that I got arrested at and, um, I would have died. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I didn't have to stay overnight, thank God, but, um, it was not fun, and I. it makes me wonder if they're going to get in a fight with somebody at the jail. Um, of course, I don't know how the legal processes work uh, with the no bond and all that, because I, I was able to bond out. So I don't know. But somehow, when they get into the jail, for the one, your ex-baby mama or your ex-girlfriend, um, fiance, committed type situation in the past, where they're about to get in a fight in the nightclub, and they go to the jail... Something negative is about to happen in the jail that's going to create serious problems. So much to the point that um, they're not going to be able to bond out. So how that resonates and applies. They're about to bring it upon themselves. They're about to bring it upon themselves. So whatever the hell that's about to happen in the jail, when they get to the jail, they're going to bring it upon themselves. It's about to get a lot of people involved and involved quickly. It's about to get a lot of people involved and involved quickly. Makes me wonder if they're going to get into a fight in the jail. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear that part. But whatever it is, it's going to be a very serious situation. And it's going to have a lot of people involved. And it's going to create a no bond situation. Whoa. Damn. Too much enjoyment. Just saying, just saying. Yeah. For one, your ascendant masters are really about to start speaking to you in your dream state. It's about to wake you up so bad. For one, your ascendant masters are really really about to start speaking to you in your dream state. It's about to wake you up so bad. So one, you're very, very highly uh, ascended. You're highly enlightened, highly ascended, and basically your ascendant masters are about to start speaking to you in your dream state very heavily. And you're about to get a huge, um, it sounds like another spiritual awakening. Um, but you plug in how it resonates, Scorpio. I feel you're highly um, spiritual, whoever you are. I feel you're highly spiritual and um, very enlightened. But you're about to get uh, another awakening, spiritual awakening. And for one, you're about to call the FBI on some very serious crimes of the past that you got pulled into and you didn't want to get pulled into. And for one, you're about to call the FBI on some very serious crimes of the past that you didn't want to get pulled into, that you got pulled into. So how that resonates and applies. There was blackmail in the past, but you're free now. Okay, I heard there was blackmail in the past, but you're free now. So whoever you are about to call the FBI on some serious crimes in the past that basically you got pulled into in the past that um, you didn't want to get pulled into, there was some kind of blackmail, it sounds like on you or the situation or what have you, what have you in the past, but... I heard it's not there anymore, and I, I think that's what's about to prompt you to call the FBI. So, only you know if you're going to call the FBI and if that situation applies for you, Scorpio, okay? And for one, you are Scorpio feminine in your 30s, and you're about to get a very significant patient complaint. You work in a hospital. Very significant patient complaint. It is about to give you a huge wake-up call. Very huge wake-up call. You might get more than one complaint, but you definitely will get one complaint. Okay, whoa. So for one, you're a Scorpio Femme and you work in a hospital. You're an RN. You're an RN. You're a Scorpio Femme, RN, and you work in a hospital. So whatever hospital that is and how that applies, ma'am. Um, I'm an RN too, so I understand. But uh, you work in a hospital. I heard you're going to get at least one 
significant patient complaint soon. I heard it's going to give you a huge wake up call. Um, sounds like the patient complaint hasn't happened yet, but you're about to get at least one, if not more than one. But whatever this one patient complaint upcoming is about to be, it's about to be pretty bad. Um, and it's going to give you a huge wake up call. It probably will make you cry. It probably will make you cry. Oh my God, that's terrible. Um, so whoever you are, um, you might get more than one, but you definitely will get one. But the good thing about it is, is it's going to give you a huge wake up call. I mean, whoever you are, I don't think you want to harm anybody. At least I hope you don't. But um, I don't, if it's going to make you cry, I don't think you are intentionally out to harm anybody is what I'm saying. Um, hurt or harm anybody. But whatever this is, it's about to be a very bad patient complaint. It's upcoming. It's going to be at least one. I heard you might get more than one, but the one you're about to get is going to make you cry probably. Um, you plug in how it resonates. You're a Scorpio Fem RN in your 30s. I'm an RN too. I'm not a Scorpio, but I'm in my 30s too. But my point is, is if it's going to make you cry, I don't think you're, you know, I don't think you're, I think you care. I think you care is what I'm trying to say. And I get it because I'm an RN and I've worked in two hospitals before. So I get it. Um, I don't think, and I heard it's going to give you a wake-up call, so I think you're going to learn and grow from it, is what I'm trying to say. This patient complaint is about to wake you up so bad, you will probably report an, an Aquarius lawyer to the Bar Association. Okay, I heard this patient complaint is uh, going to give you such a huge wake-up call, ma'am. You're a Scorpio Fem and your 30s are in. Is the patient complaint is going to give you such a huge wake-up call that you probably will report an Aquarius lawyer to the Bar Association. So for anybody who doesn't know, lawyers, they have to report to the Bar Association, just like us nurses have to report to the Board of Nursing. So however that resonates and applies, if you're a Scorpio Fem RN in your 30s, it's an Aquarius lawyer, you probably will end up reporting to the Bar Association after this significant patient complaint at least one, if not two or two plus, ma'am. Only you know who this Aquarius lawyer is, not anybody else. Okay? Once you get this complaint, you're about to spread it around in a huge way. And it's not going to go good for this Aquarius lawyer. Okay, I heard once you get this patient, oh God, you're coming in strong, ma'am. heard once you get this patient complaint, you're going to spread it around. Um, to many people, it sounds like, and it's not going to go well for the Aquarius lawyer. So somehow the Aquarius lawyer is involved, somehow intertwined with you receiving this very, at least one patient complaint, if not two or two plus. But I heard it's probably going to make you cry. How that resonates and applies, ma'am. Okay. Wow, this. And your manager will find out and it's not going to go well. Okay, I heard in your manager will find out. They probably will be the one to share the complaint with you. Oh, my God. It's going to embarrass you so bad. Oh, my God. What is this? Only you know what this is, Scorpio Fem, Arian. Why, why is an Aquarius lawyer up in your complaints? What? This is weird. Only you know this situation, not anybody else, ma'am. Another Scorpio is getting a huge wake-up call. Another Scorpio is getting a huge wake-up call. This is only you know what this is, ma'am. This is strange as hell. But <laughs> truth is stranger than fiction, and that's just the truth. But okay, so I heard your manager will probably be the one to deliver you the complaint. And I heard it's not going to go well. Um, it's not going to look good upon you. Okay, I heard it's not going to look good upon you. Whatever this complaint is, it's not going to look good upon you. Um, it doesn't sound like you're going to get fired or anything, so that's good. But um, somehow this Aquarius lawyer is involved with this complaint. I don't know. I'm not an Aquarius lawyer. Uh, yikes. I love you guys. Let me see if I hear anything else. A Scorpio feminine is about to find out about a Sagittarius feminine, Arians, drug use, secret drug use. Scorpio fem, Arian. You're in your 30s. The Sagittarius feminine is in her 40s. You both are Arians. You're about to find out about her secret drug use. You will 
you probably very soon will report her to the board of nursing that she practices in. Holy crap. I wonder if you're the same one or a different one. Okay, so you're a Scorpio Fem RN registered nurse in your 30s. You're about to find out about secret drug use of a Sagittarius Fem in her 40s. Does that sound like you know about the drug use yet, but you're about to find out about it. You're about to find out about it quick. Okay, I heard you're about to find out about it quick. You're about to find out about her secret drug use quick. She's a Sagittarius Fem in her 40s. She's an RN. You're an RN. You're in your, you're in your 30s. She's in her 40s. But you're about to find out about it quick. I heard once you find out about it, you're going to send a complaint to the Board of Nursing in whatever uh, state or area she practices nursing in. Main state or area she practices nursing in. Um, and it's going to be very effective. Know this. And it's going to be very effective. Know this. So only you know who you are, Scorpio Fem RN in your 30s. It's a Sag Fem RN in her 40s. She is some kind of secret drug user, but you're about to find out about it soon. But once you find out about it, you're about to send a complaint to the Board of Nursing. It doesn't. Uh, she could be in your same area or a different area. But she's a secret drug user, but you're about to find out about it soon. Okay, I love you guys. Hope everybody has a wonderful day and namaste.